I'm about to show you guys something that only 1%, okay? Only 1% of Bloxburg players even have or know. <laughs> Bloxburg. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. We are back on the Bloxburg server today, ladies and gentlemen, joined by Marco and Mike Dob right here for the intro. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Guys, we are back for another episode of our 2018 mansion build that we are doing today with our boy Mike Dop over here. You guys seem to love this series, and we're going to try to keep this series going for you. So for today's episode, guys, let's go ahead and make some progress continue with our build and continue to make a beautiful mansion here today now before we go ahead and actually start building guys let me go ahead and give you guys a small tour of everything that we have so far basically right now guys this is the outer shell of the entire mansion as you guys can see all the coloring is not a hundred percent completed yet we will definitely be getting that done very very soon none of the indoor is even done yet like there is no layout there is nothing in the indoor portion as of right now but that is exactly what we're going to be working on today so for those of you guys who are very, very brand new to this series, basically, guys, we're going to be building a mansion here with our boy Mike Dopp. He's actually a Bloxburg administrator, which is pretty freaking cool. Mike and I are going to go ahead and start on the interior of this entire build. He's going to go ahead and actually start um, on the entire outline, I think. Wait, hold on. Let me go into build mode really fast over here and look onto the inside. So Mike is going to be working on the first floor for today's episode, guys. He's going to kind of start, like, marking out all the different walls, all the different rooms that he wants to come up with and what I'm actually gonna do guys there's one thing that I want to show you guys I'm gonna start actually decorating those rooms as soon as they are made now really quickly guys okay before we go ahead and do that what I want to go ahead and do for you guys over here okay let me go into decorate I think I actually need to give myself a counter wait no not a counter I need to give myself a table I'm about to show you guys something that only 1% okay only 1% of Bloxburg players even have or no of this item okay guys i'm gonna give you guys a huge hint as to where you guys can find it but i am not allowed to show you guys where it is because it's a very very rare item and you even get a badge for actually collecting it so really fast over here let me go ahead and place myself a table right there on the driveway now check this out guys inside my inventory you guys all know of the premium trophy which you get from you know completing a job basically but do you guys see this right here a giant seashell an extremely rare beautiful giant seashell i'm gonna go ahead and place that down for you guys right over here let me go ahead and exit build mode just so i can show you guys what this looks like guys this is one of the rarest items right now on blocksburg and not very many people know how to get it thankfully guys mike actually did end up showing me how to retrieve it for myself but i wanted to go ahead and actually add this to the video guys because i want to challenge you to find this exact item on blocksburg now obviously guys it's very free to get it's actually very easy to get you guys just have to be very very lucky the only clue that I'm going to give you in order to find this item guys is this item is obviously a seashell and seashells are found in the ocean so that's the only clue I'm gonna be giving you guys if you guys happen to find this item go ahead and tweet me pictures at dfield mark participate in our community here and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy that challenge good luck everybody good luck good luck okay. anyways guys let's go ahead and hop back into build mode over here now Mike is actually working on the indoor right now and while he does that let me go ahead and make the outdoor look a little bit more beautiful than it already does so real fast over here let me actually take this and uh oh my gosh if i place this guys wait if i sell this what happens oh my gosh if i sell this do i lose both of these okay good 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 they actually went back into my inventory thank goodness dude i thought that i accidentally sold like one of my most rarest items oh my gosh oh look at it here guys look at it here it looks like mike is actually building an entranceway into the second floor right now wait is there anything on the second floor yet oh it's starting to come together guys he's got a whole bunch of staircases going up so he's got like you know some sort of layout in mind that he has right now so let me go ahead and actually go to the third floor over here we need to go ahead and actually focus guys on decorating this outdoor portion for the meantime we're definitely gonna be spending a couple of episodes probably decorating the entire interior of this 2018 mansion but guys before we go ahead and start with the decorations make sure you guys all take a quick second right now smash that freaking like button for me guys the like button 
then lets me know that you guys want to see more episodes of this building series in the future. Thank you guys so much. The very first thing on my plate today, the very, very first thing that I want to do, I need to go ahead and actually start coloring every single one of these walls in order to kind of make them pop out. Now, the one thing that I actually haven't decided yet, guys, do you guys see how there's like a couple of these wall segments like this one right here, which kind of stick out from the house? I have no idea what color exactly to make this wall because I don't know if I should choose an accent color for it or I don't know if I should actually go for like, you know, maybe the same color as this wall. Like, let me go ahead and try this. I'm not really sure what color to make this portion right now, guys, but as you guys can kind of see over here, I mean, it looks pretty freaking good, right? Like, it looks okay, but the problem is, how do I color this side of the wall? Wait, do I just click on that side like that? Hmm. Does that look good or do we need an accent color on that stand? I think that kind of actually matches. If you guys are also paying very close attention, you guys can kind of see I added a whole bunch of pillars in each one of these corners and it makes it so that it pops out from the rest of the actual build so let me go ahead and finish up coloring the rest of the house right now this is gonna look absolutely beautiful i do believe that i'm actually making this top portion though a different shade of gray to kind of make it pop out now i'm not exactly sure whether or not i'm gonna end up keeping this like permanently but for right now guys let's go ahead and just keep it just like this and which should be no problem at all now guys wait hold on let me go ahead and leave build mode real quick Yo, how's it going, Marco? We're working on our build right now, man. Guys, what do you guys think right now? Remember, this build, I'm asking you guys a whole lot of opinions, so make sure you guys let me know of all of your input down in the comment sections below. Hmm. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's actually worth it for me to change that top section's color or keep it the same to kind of keep it, like, you know, nice and even. I can't decide, guys. I can't decide. This is the problem when it comes to actually, like, house building and stuff, guys. There's just so much stuff to actually get done by the way guys we are starting off today's episode uh with a house value of 270,000. all right so let's see what we can get in about 30 minutes of building time guys and uh just go on with it you guys see how on this side there's a couple of browns going on what if i add this as brown and what if we make the roof brown like should we make the roofing brown guys i literally have no idea man wait what the heck is this how do we change how do we change this oh wait what if we did that what if we went for like a black trimmed roof oh wait hold on guys we might be on to something over here guys this is probably one of the reasons why i really really love to play blocksburg it's just so freaking fun the amount of different creations the amount of different possibilities there are when you're creating a house and the really really cool part is i'm actually working with a friend like as you guys all know mike is working on the inside getting in all the layouts just like that bro definitely very exciting that you can actually work with your friends now guys and i know every single one of you guys absolutely loved that update now here's the thing guys if i have a black trim on the roof i have a feeling like i should probably make all the windows black as well it might just end up making it look a little bit better let me go ahead and uh, fill those out and see how everything looks after we add all of this going on guys as always these episodes are to inspire you to actually try to build something as amazing as this for yourselves as i've said in the past i'm not a very very great builder which is one of the main reasons why i'm asking mike to help me with this build he's basically doing a lot of the really really hard work whereas i'm doing like all of like the really fun stuff because I'm only decorating, right? So once again, guys, huge shout outs to Mike for actually helping me out with this entire project. Check that out, not too bad. Now guys, there was one thing that I actually wanted to check over here. Someone mentioned this to me. I think I can go into options over here, guys, and legitimately like always make it like midday. Wait, build mode time. Let's make it like midday close. And then if I go back into my main, oh, no, I clicked main menu, I'm an idiot, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I accidentally clicked main menu. I really am hoping that it doesn't unload my freaking... No, guys, I clicked on the wrong one. Please, please, please. It's going to take like five to 10 minutes for it to load in if it actually despawns. Oh my gosh, guys. I am a complete idiot. Guys, we will be back in five minutes. Hold on, everybody. It's got to load in the house again. I clicked the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back. That was so freaking weird. Okay, let me make sure I actually did that properly over here. Guys, check it out here under build mode time. I am going to make this midday. Let me close this, open up this, and then go back into build mode. Guys, check it out. It automatically changes it to midday, so then it's actually bright outside. Wow, bro. That is a really, really cool feature to have. I actually didn't know about that. So thank you guys for commenting that in the last building video that we did. I think the best part
part about these team builds, guys, is the fact that you can kind of draw from the imagination and the creation from more than one individual. It's probably one of the best Bloxburg updates that has come out as of recently, guys. It's actually kind of crazy that I have a Bloxburg admin helping me out with my own build. It's basically like I have some sort of like cheat codes or something into the system, guys. It's literally what I feel like because Mike is literally such a good builder. Like, so in total, guys, I think we probably worked on this, both of us at the same time, about three and a half to four hours in total. So as you guys can see, there's definitely a lot more work to do. It's actually insane how crazy some people are when it comes to building these massive mansions. Like some people can just build really, really like crazy fast when it comes to like designing walls and house layouts. But when it comes to me, guys, I like to take my time. I like to listen to music normally when I'm building on my own, when I'm building like, you know, off camera, I normally just am listening to music and kind of relaxing all at the same time. So having somebody else there to build with you guys is actually really, really freaking fun. Speaking into the house, guys, look at it over here, guys. Oh my gosh, the first floor is looking absolutely crazy. Wait. Guys, do you see this right here? GG, what does that mean? Green guest? Is the green guest gonna pop up in freaking Bloxburg? So there's a G here, there's a G here. This is going to be the living room. This is going to be the kitchen. Oh my gosh, he's even labeling it out for us. This is probably going to be like an L. What's L, guys? What's L? I have no idea what L is. M, maybe like master bedroom or something? Last but not least, guys, for today's episode, let's go ahead and add a couple more decorations into our front lawn. I added a couple of trees all over over the place and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal so far for me personally guys the rocks just kind of give a more like of a naturey vibe and it kind of just looks a lot more natural when there's just a whole bunch of rocks kind of scattered throughout the property just like this I feel the same exact way about flowers guys like there's definitely not a time where you can have more flowers and you can kind of just place them around sporadically as much as you want but make sure make sure you guys spend the time and the effort to actually change each of the individual flower colors to make your build stand out from everybody else because I see a lot of builds out there that kind of I'm just doing what I'm doing right now They place a bunch of flowers everywhere But the problem is the flowers are everywhere guys, but you know, they're all the same color So seems that there's not very much effort put into it You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys are spending that extra time to make sure you have everything you need Oh my gosh, this build is going to look absolutely insane guys I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode right there once again guys This is going to be a very very long series if you guys want another episode episode next week do not forget to go ahead and smash that freaking like button for me as always guys my name is d field we will see you guys again tomorrow for another daily roblox video have a fantastic day everybody peace